Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm David, the founder of Ultimate Survival Tips and the host of the Survival Show podcast. I'm glad you're here as we continue our nine lesson Bodril 101 training series with lesson number three, how to build your PVC Bodril bow. If you missed lesson number one, four reasons Bodril fires fail, and lesson number two, your Bodril kit parts and materials, Click the link on your screen or in the description to be magically transported to the first video in this series that includes both of these lessons. Now, before we get into this lesson, make sure you smash that like button so you don't miss out on any of the lessons in this sweet video series. And go grab the outline notes and materials checklist for this course for free at ultimatesurvivaltips.com forward slash Bodril for a limited time. All right. Let's get into lesson number three, how to make your PVC Bodril bow. Now before we jump in, I wanna introduce Gabe. He's gonna work with us to build his first Bodril kit and his first Bodril fire. Gabe! In this lesson, we're going to start our kit by building our bow using PVC pipe and paracord. The bow is the part of the kit that connects the engine, which is you, to the bow drill machine. To build your bow, you will need to grab your half inch PVC pipe, drill in bits, candle, matches or lighter, paracord, knife, saw, and don't forget your can of soup. Let's get started. All right, so we've got all of our materials and tools out. And so Gabe, why don't we just start by cutting our half inch PVC pipe. We both got our saws and I have actually measured mine a little bit longer, almost 28 inches, just because having a longer bow gives you more of a mechanical advantage. However, for a beginner, Gabe's going to cut his to just around 24 inches because a smaller bow is a little bit easier for a, a new person to handle. So let's cut these. All right, so we've got our lengths cut. And for me, I just grabbed a piece that was left over from my plumber a couple of years ago, it happened to be half inch, which is a common pipe. Gabe's got this nifty gray conduit pipe. Essentially, they're the same thing. Okay, now let's go ahead and we're gonna drill a hole on each side of our pipe. And that's what our bowstring's gonna go through. Cool? Awesome. And one thing we want to make sure is that the holes are on the same side. So we've got this hole right there. So our second hole is going to go right there. All right, now that we have our holes done, we are going to bend our PVC pipe into the shape of a bow. To do that, Gabe is going to use a candle and I'm gonna use a little portable lantern that I got from a recent battle box. Light those up. To do this, we wanna make sure that with our hole on the top and the bottom, that when we actually do get to bending, we're gonna be bending down that way. So what we're gonna do now that our flames are going, we're just gonna go ahead and rotate these through the flame so that we don't melt it, but that we soften up the pipe. And then Gabe is going to use a can of soup and I am going to use my clean canteen to make a radius to bend our PVC. Now you'll kind of know when it's ready to bend, you just wanna test it every once in a while it'll eventually soften up so that you'll be able to start being able to bend it with just your hands. Now that our bows are heated, we just need to hold them. Gabe's using the can of soup and I'm using a clean canteen to just set the bend. Now if you do this 
and you try to bend it and it just doesn't bend for you. Just go back and heat up your pipe a little bit more. Okay, how's yours, Gabe? So that's certainly good enough. It's a nice, nice bow. Move our string. Now let's put our string on. In this case, we're gonna use paracord and these lengths are somewhere between 30 and 36 inches, which should be sufficient. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and melt the end so that when we push our cord through the holes, it doesn't come all apart and fray. Okay, just like that. Now, take the top end of your bow, which is gonna be opposite the end you wanna use as your hand hold side. your paracord through on the top and then for this top section all we're gonna do is we're just gonna do a simple overhand knot like that and then pull that through when you size your bit you just want to make sure that it's not it's just a little bit bigger than the diameter of your paracord one side. Now on the other side we're going to do the same thing. Run our paracord through. Now this is our adjustable side. So for now we're just going to leave this hang down just a little bit like that. And then we're gonna wrap it around, do an overhand, messy overhand knot. Just sort of kind of tie this thing off like that. And then I'm gonna do another overhand loop. So to do that, we just take this cut side and then run a loop through here instead of the terminal end. And then just pull that tight for now and that way we can easily loosen this and adjust this once we get our drill done okay last thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wipe off all this char so you can see that the bow didn't actually burn it was just the carbon so our bows are ready Okay, that went pretty well. Now, if your bow looks something like this, you're all set to go on to the next lesson. We've just taken a look at how to make your PVC bow drill bow. Join me next time for lesson number four in this series, where you will carve your bow drill spindle. For your convenience, I've placed a link to the bow drill course outline PDF with bonus notes and materials checklist above and in the description or you can go grab the outline notes and materials checklist right now for this course over at ultimatesurvivaltips.com forward slash bowdrill for a limited time. And don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on any of the lessons in this nine part video series. All right, everybody, I think that's about it. Until next time, I hope to see you on the other side. And remember, be prepared because you never know.